right? So this is the fourth lesson for AISL. Um, so it's arithmetic sequences. You would have done this in Algebra 1, just to let you know. Um, but let's just review it for sake of uh, memory and, you know, things have happened. So what we're going to do is we're going to look and see if there's any pattern here. Um, so is there a pattern here, right? It goes up 3, then it goes down 7, then it goes... Mm, so there's no pattern here, right? No pattern. Um, over here, right, for the next one, I can see a clear pattern, right? To go from 2 to 5, I'm adding 3. To go from 5 to 8, I'm adding 3. To go from 8 to 11, I'm adding 3. So the pattern here is literally just adding 3. So I'm going to give you a symbol, right, for this. So this is that number that we just found, which is 3, is called our common difference. So our common difference. And the symbol for that is the letter D. It's a lowercase letter D. So we're going to put that down here. And the symbol for the first term, right, in this case, our first term is 2. Symbol for the first term is going to be U1, okay? So that is the symbol right here, and D is what goes here. N is just telling us, like, the nth term. So we're going to do a couple of problems to help you figure out what that means. Um, so for the sequence below, right, our sequence here, which is 2, 5, 8, 11, right, we already know that our common difference is 3. This is going up by 3. So our difference is 3. And if you can't find it, an easy way to do it is to take U2 um, and subtract U1 from it. This is going to equal U2 minus U1. So what do I mean by that, right? 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. In this case, like I said, it's pretty easy to find our D. Um, our U1, we talked about that, is just our first term, which is just 2. And then in your formula booklet, there is the for this formula is given, so you don't need to memorize it, okay? This formula is given. So UN, so it's, um, yep. So we're looking for this sequence right here, and we're let's see if I ask you to find, like, find the 10th term. Find the 10th term. That means that we're looking for u10, so our n would be 10, n equals 10, um, and I'm going to go ahead and plug it into this formula that I have right here, right? So u10 is equal to our u1, right? So u1 is 2, then I have a plus sign, parentheses, our n is 10, so I'm plugging in 10 minus 1, it's always minus 1, and then I'm going to multiply it by my common difference, which we found out from the beginning is 3, and this whole thing gets plugged into the calculator, right? So let me turn my calculator on. So I have 2 plus parentheses 10 minus 1 times 3 times 3. Hit enter, and I get that my 10th term is 29, okay? Could you have continued this pattern until you got to the 10th term? Yes, but that would take a while, all right? And this is another example find the 21st term, so we need to find u1, which is our first term, which is negative 7. We have to find our common difference. It's telling us it's arithmetic, so we know that we're going to add to get to the next number. So this might be a little bit more difficult to find what we're going to add by. So let's use our trick, right? Take u2, so negative 4 minus, minus u1, right? So that's negative 7. So I'm taking my calculator here, so I have negative 4 minus parentheses, negative 7, and I get 3. So my common difference is 3 here. So let's plug it into our formula, right? un is equal to u1 plus parentheses n minus 1 d. Um, so our 21st term, so u21 is equal to our u1, we just figured that out, is negative 7, plus n, they're asking us for the 21st term, so that's 21 minus 1, times our difference, which is 3. Okay, so all I'm doing right now is I'm plugging in things, and then you just go to your calculator, <clears throat> and you type it in, right? So negative 7 plus parentheses 21 minus 1. You could just do 20 in the calculator if you'd like, uh, times 3. Hit enter, and you get 53. So that means that our 21st term is 53, which is the answer to the question. All right. So when would this come in handy? There are literally patterns everywhere. Um, there are two types of sequences called arithmetic, and we're going to learn another one called geometric. Um, counting, algebra, Fibonacci, 
Um, there's a couple of examples here. I do want to go ahead and stress the fourth one. One, two, three are pretty straightforward, but let me go over this one with you just to make sure that you are good with it because this one's a little bit different. All right, so in this one, they're telling you U10, like the 10th term is 42, and U19 is 87, All right? So we have U10 is 42 and U19 is 87. So basically what we're going to do is we are going to set up an equation, right? So here's our formula. Un is equal to U1 plus N minus 1 times R D. So we don't know what this is, right? We don't know R D here. Um, and we have to find U100. We'll get there in a second. Um, we also don't know our first term. So we have two unknowns, okay? This is kind of like, this should trigger um, the previous lesson that we did where you have two uh, unknowns and we're gonna set up two equations using this right here, okay? So for the first one, let's go ahead and plug this in. So for U10, we have U10. Uh, we don't know our first term, so we're gonna just call it U1. Plus we do know N is 10, so 10 minus, not, uh, 10 minus 1 is going to give us 9, and we don't know our common difference, okay? So that's our first equation. For our second equation, they also told us U19, right? So U19 is equal to, again, we don't know U1, uh, plus 19 minus 1 gives us 18, and then we don't know our common difference, okay? So this is going to help us set up a systems of equations, right? So how do we solve systems of equations? We go to our calculator. Let's clear what's there. Hit apps, uh, polysymbol two, right? Hit any key. Option number two is simultaneous equations. So now we have a two by two, right? We have a two by two. There are two equations and there are two variables that are missing. So let's leave it like that. I'm fine with leaving my answer like a fraction. Go ahead and hit graph for next. And now I'm plugging in things, right? So the number in front of my U1, there's an imaginary one here. So one, enter. Here in front of the D, there's a nine. So I'm gonna put nine, enter. And they're telling us that U10 is 42, right? So I'm gonna go over here and replace with this with the number 42. But while I'm here, I might as well just do this as well. So this is 87. So let's go back here, right? So I'm putting in 42 here, hit enter. And then I put in, again, in front of the U1, there's an imaginary one, hit enter. In front of the D, there's an 18. Hit enter and the number that's after the equal sign is 87. Don't forget to hit 87 and hit enter. And now we just hit solve and it tells us, right, that the first number, which is U1, so U1 equals negative 3. U1 equals negative 3 and our D, which is our second number, gives us 5. So our common difference is 5. Um, so now we have to do is take those two numbers that we got and plug it back in because now we're asked to find the hundredth term. So for U100, right, U1 is negative 3. We're plugging it back into this formula right here, right? So U1 is negative 3 plus parentheses N is 100. So 100 minus 1 and our D now is 5. So plug this into the calculator, hit enter, and you're going to get 492, okay? That's where this number is coming from. So that's our answer. All right. So go ahead and try these problems. Check your answers at the end. Um, yeah. Good job.